Hey guys, welcome back to another review. And today, I'm going to review Tale of the Brave. I'm sorry if that's not really the Thomas special that came after Day of the Diesels, but whatever. I can't really remember all the Thomas movies. I hope I do. Anyway. Today I'm gonna do something Nostalgia Critic does in his Yes, I watched Nostalgia Critic! Don't be surprised! Anyway, I'm gonna do something Nostalgia Critic does in his videos. Mostly if he doesn't have footage of a video, he just doesn't do it himself. I decided to do something like that. So here it is, the review of Tale of the Brave. So it starts off with one of the most, mostly not top 10 awkward chases. Well, Thomas chases either Bill or Ben. I don't know, it's been a long time since I watched the movie. Ha! Huh, we're gonna get you now, Bill or, or Ben? It's Bill! Yeah, whatever, I don't really care. I had nothing to say when I saw that chase scene. That chasing meant nothing to me. It's not really chasing, it's just Thomas falling, Bill or, or Ben, or whoever that one, whoever that was. Later, Thomas meets an engine named Timothy who's pulling the same train as him, train as him, which is also a top ten weirdest character meetings. Timothy? Thomas? No, literally, I thought that that was awkward. Later, Thomas stumbles upon some footprints during a rainstorm. Oh my god! When either Bill or Ben pushes them out of the way from the falling rocks. Oh. That's not really something Bill or Ben would do. They were just like, nee, we just leave them to die. They're just, they're just like, nee, we're leave them to die. We don't really care about our friends. We only care about ourselves. We don't care about others. Nah, yeah, let's just leave them out to die. We don't care. Later, Thomas speculates who could have made those footprints, but literally, Percy literally freaks out. Which is also one of the top ten weirdest songs. Look out, look out, we're all about where. Look out, look out, we're all about where. Look out. Oh, that's not so scary. Later, Percy runs into a ghost who is surprisingly actually an engine who's named Gator. That is literally in one of the most creepiest moments of Thomas the Tank. and then realize it's just a character you decide to put on the screen. And they're actually terrifying. Like, they're actually terrifying. Halloween, which I still owe you a re which I still owe you a review of. No. Including millions of Trackmaster THBF episodes. Well, like, they were able to keep something scary happening scary. In this film, it was literally called Tale of the Brave, focusing on engines being brave. It doesn't make sense. Later, people from the China Clay Pits quote that there are no monsters there, and Percy doesn't believe Thomas anymore, and they break up the friendship. It's about time. Well, Percy becomes Gator's new best friend, which was actually the ghost that Percy saw. Later, like, Thomas just like... <laughs> Percy's not <laughs> I'm so depressed. <laughs> Later, Gator has to be sent away back to his original railway because not technically he's not... Technically, he was actually 
is actually something that the fat controller needed for a while and is like, oh, can I borrow, oh, excuse me, um, can I borrow an engine for a second? Oh, why do you need one of our engines? Well, you see, I have so much work on my railway, I'm gonna need another engine. And which one do you want? There's one that looks like a crocodile. I'll take that. What? I'll take the one that looks like a crocodile. But dude, he hasn't been fully formed. I don't care! Just give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give me something you have! Okay, I could give you this engine. How about you buy this engine? I'll take them. Excellent, I'll find this engine right away. Ugh.